You've felt it before, a close call, a breath away from death, and yet, here you are. But what if that wasn't just luck? What if, in some version of reality, you did die? Let's start with a cat, in a box, a deadly mechanism triggered by a quantum event, completely random. Until we observe, the cat is both dead and alive. This is Schrodinger's famous thought experiment, a paradox meant to illustrate the absurdity of applying quantum mechanics, rules of the very small, to macroscopic objects, like cats, like humans. The moment someone opens the box, reality chooses. The wave function collapses, one outcome becomes real, the other vanishes. But what if it doesn't vanish? Enter the many worlds interpretation. This theory says the wave function never collapses. Instead, every possible outcome happens. But in a separate branch of the universe, the cat lives and dies in two different realities. You just see one, and that brings us to you. Your consciousness, the observer, is like the person opening the box. Every time you face a life or death moment, there's a timeline where you die, and another where you live. But your awareness can only exist in one, the one where you're still breathing. This is quantum immortality, the idea that from your point of view, you never die. Because in every fatal event, there's a version of you that didn't die, and your consciousness continues inside it, seamlessly. You don't remember dying, you remember just barely making it, over and over. Until one day, you start to wonder why you keep surviving things no one else did. But here's the philosophical horror. If this is true, you'll never escape life. Everyone you know will eventually vanish, but you'll persist. Older, lonelier, watching reality distort as timelines stretch thinner. Immortality sounds like a gift until you live it. This theory doesn't claim you'll live well, only that you'll live long enough to feel like the world is slightly off, like the people you knew aren't quite the same, like you remember dying, but you can't prove it. Maybe that's deja vu, maybe that's trauma, or maybe that's you, shifting realities every time death gets too close. If you've ever had a moment, just one, where you felt you should have died but didn't, this theory offers a chilling possibility that your story didn't end, it just branched. Tell us in the comments, have you ever experienced a near-death moment that left you changed? Because if quantum immortality is real, you might already be the you that never dies.